I'm trying to decide if I should do this intro now or later because I'm going to show y'all my retwist. Like, you think I'm cute now? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. So in this video, today's video, y'all, y'all are going to see this video at four months, four weeks straight of me having my locks. I'm going to tell y'all the good, the bad, the ugly. Nah, ain't no ugly. We renounce that word. Is it renounce or is it denounce? Anyway, we don't use that word when we talk about lock journeys. But I'm going to be real. I'm going to be transparent. It is what it is. That's why you're here, right? So follow along with my journey. You on your journey. You might be thinking about your journey. Or you just love all things black. We love that too. If y'all enjoyed this video so far, or if you enjoyed my videos in the past, or if you just think you're going to enjoy this video because you might forget to do it later, can y'all please just hit subscribe. That'll be great. Put on the notification bell so you can see whenever I post a new video. So throughout this time, I will say, so it's been, okay, when y'all see this on Monday, February 14th, happy Valentine's Day and Black History Month. So I got my last done just about four weeks ago and it has been a transition. <laughs> um... I don't know. I just wanted to give y'all my thoughts on the transitioning phase and because we don't use the words ugly stage, we use starter locks, baby locks, transitioning phase, all that here. So I'll say during the transitioning phase, it has been, um, I will say, I don't even know what to say. I would say maybe my confidence was rocked like in the third and fourth week a couple of times, but then a couple of times I had to come back into like, hey girl, you are you and this is you and this is what you're doing, you know? It's not going to be neat all the time and that's the nature of the beast. Like it literally has to be frizzy, like you're locking up. That's what you're doing. And I think it was more so because of my occupation. So I'm in the military. And if you're not familiar with the military, you can kind of think about corporate America, I would say, because the military, especially on the officer side, is full of politics. And I have to look a certain way. Um, we all have to look a certain way, regardless of rank. And that's where the regulation comes in, right? So we all know regulations have changed drastically. They were never really written for us. And other women, they don't got to think twice. And if your hair is not in a bun, then you get looked at funny. Then you get talked about. Then maybe your appearance isn't within the army standards. So I will say during the, this phase, really, like I said, in the third and fourth week, it was kind of rough because of that. I feel like if I was like working from home or my own boss or like just chilling, I wouldn't care. But I felt like since I put on that uniform every day and looking at my counterparts, my left and right, and just hearing conversations, it kind of bothered me a little bit. But you know, hey, we're here now, week four. I haven't covered my hair up and I got through it, you know? It's kind of odd to me how our community or I don't, See, I don't know what the outside community thinks, but I do know how our community, we put an ugly stage on locks, right? And to me, if I'm just being honest, I feel like every hairstyle can have an ugly stage. When you have a perm, your hair starts to grow out a little bit. So that can, like, why isn't that an ugly stage? When you have box braids, your hair grow out some. It's not as fresh as it was when you first got it done. When you have a cut, a tapered cut, your hair start growing out in the back and it's not as clean. You know, when you have a fro and sometimes you just really don't know what to do with it. All I'm saying is in any hairstyle we choose to have, we don't always look our best and that's just going to be natural. And I think that's something I had to realize. Just to give you some perspective and encouragement, it's not just a lot journey where you don't look your best sometimes. 
that's in life. <laughs> Hopefully that encouraged you, whether you do work from home, whether you not work at all, whether you're just trying to go to Walmart, or if you're in corporate America, if you're in the military, if you're just supposed to or expected to look a certain way through this starter lot journey, allow, allow room to know that people are going to say what they want and people will always talk. So once you know that, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna affect you because we're human, just like it affected me for like a minute, but then I got over it real quick. So you got this. So yeah, I think that was the biggest part of what I wanted to let y'all know, besides obviously looking at my hair, but the biggest part is just the encouragement and just like my feelings and thoughts throughout this. Cause I feel like so many times we can see people on the other side of their transitioning phase and um, I think we need to see more people in their transitioning phase. Ooh. During that, these uh, four weeks, I just wanted to tell y'all, not styles, I guess, per se, but just the way I've been showing up in the world wearing my hair. So the first week, I just had it down, you know, it was just done, down. Um, and if you didn't see that, I'll link it, I'll tab it up in whatever, and then you I'll also tag it below in the description box. Um... But yeah, I just had it down. And then the second week, I just had it down. And then the third week is when like things started to move and um, <laughs> either grow out or loosen up, or it's probably doing a little bit of both. So I had like a part over here and I started doing like a side swoop. Um, so that's how I wore it for the third week, just to the sides. And I had like a bobby pin in it so it could stay to the side. I thought that was cute. And then the fourth week, this week, I put on a headband and um, decided to play around with my edges. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's whatever makes me feel best, honestly, and most comfortable. So do whatever works for you. So the next thing is I am going to get my first retwist this weekend. So I am excited about it. I think it'll make me feel a little bit more confident and uniform. Um, and just cause my hair actually grew out quite faster than I thought. It, like I said, it either grew out or loosened up. In the back, it feels like it grew out. In the front, it feels like it loosened up. And I'll show y'all. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Of course, I'm gonna show y'all my retwist in this video cause it's a part of my four week lock update. So stay tuned for that. Oh, I, mean, I do know I'm going to get my first style in March for my birthday. I got some style ideas, of course, from Instagram. And I just cannot wait. Like, <laughs> my lock's going to be a little bit more, like, lockish. By but, then. yeah, let me just give y'all a close-up of my hair. That was pretty much to wrap up this video. Just tell you where I am. Tell you my thoughts about, you know, this four-week lock journey. Give y'all some encouragement. Let y'all know what's coming up this weekend, my wash day, and my retwist. Make sure if y'all like this video by now, and if you didn't do it earlier, y'all click subscribe. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know where you are on your lock journey. Let me know how you feel about like what I said about the transitioning phase. All right, so let's get close. Let me take off this headband so y'all can see. I guess I'll show y'all the back first so remember i had an undercut so this is why this is like this i got some hang time and this is the front so you can kind of see the difference between the back and the front like these are just like you know I don't know. Y'all, I'm starting to think maybe my hair was growing out because look at this. Like, 
And I love just shaking it because you can feel it moving on your scalp. It's nice, y'all. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. I think going through this weekend made me realize I am only uncomfortable with my transitioning phase at work because this weekend I went to a bar and everything like with my hair just like as it is right it almost looked kind of like a fro with coils on the end but it was like still cute to me and I was rocking it and I felt fine um but I think it was the environment I was in right I don't know that's just something I'll have to deal with but just to give you some encouragement, like, you know, rock your hair, how it's looking. Appreciate it before the retwist and after, like, before, during, after, all that. So, but, of course, as you feel comfortable and as you feel confident. So, yeah, I really like my retwist. Um, oh, and my hair is already budding. So, look, I went right to it right here. And I'm like, dang, like she told me, she was like, your hair is budding in some places. And I'm like, dang, it's only been like four weeks. My hair, my hair is already budding, it's growing. Like, and it's just doing its thing, like, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all, appreciate y'all watching my four-week, one-month lock update. I'll see y'all in the next one.